Yo, what's good, YouTube? You're back with the press. We're here in the garage today, about to take you through a full upper body workout. As you guys, if you guys watched my previous video, the live session, I was on a deload week last week. Just came back from vacation, so it's been about 10 days since I put in real work, real training. And prior to me going on vacation, I was on that uh, muscle group split where I was doing chest one day, legs another day, shoulders, back, and then arm and full body type of day. Trained that way up until Mexico. Went on vacation, only worked out around two times down there, full body workouts, came back and decided to do a deload. During that deload week, I literally only did the one live session and one other full body workout throughout that week. I kept the volume real low, and now it's Monday of the new week and I'm fresh. So, instead of getting back on that muscle group split, which I'm going to get back on to next week, right now, since I just came off that deload and it's been 10 days since any serious training, I'm going to work on an upper-lower split for this week just to get a little more volume in and I can hit each muscle group two to maybe three times throughout this week. So today's going to be a full upper body day, tomorrow will be lower, and like always we're going to start with shoulders. So I'm going to move into a more higher volume based type of training now. I'm still going to be on that muscle split, but instead of working 5-3-1 on the compounds, working for max strength now, now I'm going to take it back and I'm going to be working more in that hypertrophy range for all my, all my uh, main movements. So I'm going to be working in that 6 to 15 rep range for bench press, shoulder press, all my main movements, uh, rows, etc. So stay tuned and full up body workout. So today we're going to start standing military presses. Going to warm up with just the bar and like I said, we're doing hypertrophy based workouts today. So all my sets are going to be in that, for this movement, I'm going to aim for that 10 to 12 rep range and I'm going to keep the weight moderate around 70% of the one rep max. All right, so first working set, I got 95 pounds on the bar. So like I said, it's gonna be hypertrophy based training. So my first set, I'm just gonna do 70% of my one rep max. One rep, my one rep max is around 135 right now. 70% is about 94 pounds. So I got 95 pounds on the bar. I'm gonna aim for 12 reps at one. I said two, 105 on the bar. Added two fives on each side. Aiming for again, 10 reps right now. Set two, 105 for 10. All right, set three. Moved up to 115 right now. I got, if you're wondering, I got two tens, one ten, one ten, and three fives on each side. That's 115 on the bar. Caught 10 reps at 105. Aiming now for a nice eight rep solid. So, hypertrophy based training, you want to stay in that six. To 12, maybe 6 to 15 rep range on the high end. So here I'm hoping for 8 reps. Let's see if I can get it. 115 on the bar.
All right, seven reps, 115. I'll take that. I'm gonna do one more set of this, drop it, back down to 95, and hit max reps. Just gonna wrap up shoulder press. We got two more exercises for shoulders, then we're gonna move up the chest and back. Let's go. All right, set four. I know I said I was gonna drop it to 95 for this set, but I said F it, let's keep it at 115, and then we'll do a drop set immediately down to 95. So 115 again on the bar, still got the two tens, and the three fives, one ten, two ten, one, two, three. So 115, hoping for another seven reps at least, then we drop immediately down to 95 and rep out. Core six, I'm gonna drop it right away, 95. I'm gonna wrap out again. See, took two fives off each side. 20 pounds off total. Only caught another three, we did 95. So total reps for that set, six and three, nine. So that's a wrap for the shoulder press. Like I said, two more shoulder exercises. I'm gonna hit chest and back. Don't forget guys, when training your shoulders, always make sure you're hitting the rear delts. Most under, it's the most under-trained part of your shoulders. It's one of the biggest parts that's gonna make them pop out. So bent over, rear delt flies, three sets, 12 to 15 reps here. All right, last exercise for shoulders. We're gonna target the front delt now. Main exercise for standing military press. We're really gonna target the whole shoulder. Then we moved on to more rear delt isolation with the bent over rear delt flies. Now we're gonna target more of the front delt. Now we're gonna throw in a little bit of calisthenics. This is gonna be a super set. It's gonna be a mix of calisthenics and a weight bearing exercise. Both gonna target the front delt. So first we're gonna start with supinated grip, push-ups, Remember, a key here, stay in that protracted position, protracted scapula each rep, and you want your butt and your glutes squeezed. You don't want your butt up, you don't want it collapsed, but you do want it squeezed and down and the scapula protracted like that. So supinated grip, push-ups, 12 to 15 reps, superset it with, I got a 25 pound front plate raise. Really gonna target the front delts here. So three sets of this, let's go. Remember, butt down, squeezing the glutes like this, staying protracted. Two 
12 reps, right into a front plate raise, arms locked here, feet close, slight bend in the knees, just raise from the delt. Super natty grip push-ups, 12 front raises, rest about 60 to 90 seconds here, and do three sets total. Let's go. Hold on. Huh? Hold on. Alright, just wrapped up shoulders. The re exercise done. Stand the military press, then did the rear delt flies, then those super netted grip push ups, super set it with the front plate raise. Now we're gonna move on to chest. You guys already know, big on blood flow. Shoulders, where's the blood gonna rush down to next? Chest. So, working in order with gravity. Now I'm staying in the hypertrophy rep range. We're doing flat barbell bench press. I got 135 on, and now I'm gonna be going for that 12 to 15 rep range, three sets. I'm gonna to try to keep the breaks short, 60 to 90 seconds max. Really get a lot of blood flow, and really pump up the chest now. So, three sets, 135 on the bar. Set one, let's go. Alright, kept it at 12 reps. Didn't want to exert myself, burn out, hitting 15 on the first clip. I'm gonna increase the weight now for the next two sets, staying in that 8 to 12 rep range. So, exercise two, flat barbell bench press, three sets. Let's go. Alright, set two. I added 10 pounds on each side, so we're at 155. Again, 8 to 12 reps.
All right, eight reps. I definitely could have pushed out 10, but again, I don't want to fatigue and the set itself mess me up for the set to come. So eight reps, aiming about two reps before failure. So I have something to tank for the next set. Still keeping it 60 to 90 seconds. Probably gonna take 90 seconds right now. Hit set three. All right, we're at set three right now. I put another five on each side. So we're at 165. Again, hoping to hit eight reps right now. Now I'll give it everything I have. I don't mind if I fatigue and I don't mind if I fail on this set. All right, set three. 165 on the bar now. I put another five on each side. Again, I'm gonna hope to hit eight reps here. Eight reps, 165. Let's get it. Stop at seven. I don't want to end up really failing on the reps. So set three, 165, hit seven reps. So wrap the bench press, two more chest exercises, and we'll move on to back. So next up, we have a single dumbbell close grip press. This is going to really target the inner chest. So me personally, my weakness on my chest, I can tell, is definitely the inner area. One, I don't definitely do enough exercises to target it. And two, it could just be genetics and my insertions. So now I'm gonna really focus on working on exercises that are gonna target that inner chest more. So here it's gonna be superset. Body weight exercise mixed with this weight exercise. So we're gonna start with this single dumbbell close grip press, then we're gonna go right into a diamond push up on the floor. So, so what's gonna make this target the inner chest more effectively is the placement of the humerus during the exercise. So when your arm is fully over, as it would be if you're doing a diamond push up or this exercise, as you're gonna see, the chest is fully flexed, and if it's fully flexed, the inner chest is gonna be engaged a lot. So we're gonna keep the arm over the, so we're gonna keep the humerus over the chest throughout the whole exercise, because that's gonna be the nature of this exercise in itself. So one dumbbell is needed for this. We're gonna grab it like this, grip it just like this on the handle. We're gonna start with the dumbbell on our chest, just here, and from here we're just gonna press it straight up. One, two, three. Four. Fifteen reps. I'm gonna go straight on the floor. Hit diamond push-ups. Remember, diamond push-ups is gonna move the humerus across the chest and it's going to keep it there. So, and the reason why I didn't lock out on any of the exercises, we want to keep constant tension on the chest. So we're coming 90% full range of motion right before lockout, and then going right back down. All right, set two. We're keeping the breaks real short here. 60 second strict breaks in between the superset. So set two, let's get it.
Let's go. Set three. Third exercise for chest, of course you already know we're going to hit some calisthenics, we're going to be doing dips. I don't feel like throwing on extra weight right now, so I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to manipulate my body weight to make this 12 to 15 reps harder. I could do this 12 to 15 reps with at least a 45 pound plate on me for a minimum 4 to 5 sets easy. But I don't feel like throwing any weight on today, I just want to keep a body weight, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to manipulate my body weight to make these reps more challenging. Aiming for that 12 to 15 rep range again. Now watch, I'm going real slow, real slow, negative down, three seconds down, going as deep as I can, and I'm going to explode up each rep. Aiming for that 12 to 15 rep range, smooth, slow and controlled. So there's going to be four second dips. Let's get it. Look at that, I ended up catching 11 reps, body weight. When we all know body weight, I can probably bang out 50, 60 clip, easy money, especially when I'm fresh. I'm not fresh right now, but still, that's how you manipulate your body weight to make the reps harder. Aim for those four second rep dips. Three second down, one second explosive rep up. 10 to 12 reps, again, working the hypertrophy rep range. Two more sets here, I'm gonna rest 90 seconds. Let's go. Let's go, set three.
All right, chest is done. Now it's time for back. Starting off back, we're gonna start off with a superset. We're gonna go for 12 body weight chin ups. We're gonna go right into a barbell bent over row. So a superset of calisthenic movement with a barbell movement. 12 chin ups, close grip, right into a bent over barbell row, supinated grip again. So two supinated grip movements right now for the first back exercise. Only cost seven reps on the rows. That's fine. Six to 15 reps. Remember, that's a hypertrophy rep range. And it's a superset. So, pull muscle are going to be a little fatigued. 12 reps on the chin ups, seven reps on the bent over rows. 90 second break, two more sets. All right, set two. What I want you guys to notice on my chin ups, I'm not actually bringing my chin over the bar. I keep my scapula retracted and arched. Really going to engage more of that posterior chain more of the lats. It's gonna pretty much almost eliminate the use of the biceps also. So here we're gonna be really focusing on from the dead hang, watch. Hanging, retracting back, and then pulling. And you come back down to a dead hang and release the scapula, that's a full rep. That's how you do back focused, more lat focused chin ups. Right into these bent over rows right now, let's go. All right, guys, wrapping up back now. We're gonna end off with another superset. We're gonna be doing a body weight movement with another weight bearing exercise. Except we're not really using weights for the second exercise. We're gonna be using a resistance band. We're gonna be mimicking a straight arm lat pull down, which we do in the gym using cables. So the first exercise is gonna be body weight rows. We're going for 15 reps. We're gonna be doing three grips. First five, we're gonna do close grip. Second five, we're gonna do shoulder width apart. Third five, we're gonna go wide. So 15 reps in one clip, then we're gonna come straight up and we're gonna do these lat pull downs. Then we're gonna come straight up and we're gonna do these straight arm lat pull downs. I took my shirt off so you guys can see how the lats really get engaged on these straight arm lat pull downs, even though I'm only using a light resistance band. So superset these two exercises to wrap up back. Let's get it. That's 
15 reps, straight to these straight arm lat pull downs. Now, what you want to do, this is a light resistance band, I'm grabbing in the middle, stepping back, so I get a nice stretch in the lats, slightly hinging at the waist, slight bend in the knees, I'm leaning forward, so my lats are getting stretched out now, arms are straight, all I'm doing, pulling straight and back, straight arm movement, watch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, So guys, three sets, 15 body weight rows, 12 to 15 straight arm lap pull downs. And that's gonna wrap up the routine. Three exercises for shoulders done. Hit three chest, three back, all superset style. So wrap guys, all right guys, that's a wrap of the routine. Told you it's a full upper body base session, all hypertrophy sets. Every workout was done in that six to 12, six to 15 rep range. A lot of volume, a lot of blood pump to every muscle group. Now remember, when working hypertrophy, you want to be working in that around 60 to about high 75, maybe pushing at 80% of your one rep max, usually on the lower end, usually about that 60 to 75% of your one rep max. That's how you want to be training for hypertrophy based sets. Remember, hypertrophy means muscle growth. The opposite of hypertrophy is atrophy, muscle breakdown. So, hope you enjoyed the workout. Don't forget, guys, share the videos, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Bar Naturals. For a die, I'm top three. For a die, I'm top three. For a die, look.